Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HD 4890 iCooler X4 HDMI video card. What's included is the installation guide, software, drivers, a case badge, a game, two power adapters, as well as the Crossfire Bridge and the video card. The Radeon HD 4800 single GPU series video cards are currently available in a number of models ranging from the 4830, which is the slowest, to the fastest 4890. This video card has a PCI Express interface of 2 compared to the older video cards, which has a PCI Express interface of 1. This video card is based on the RV790 core, which is built on the 55 nanometer manufacturing process and has 959 million transistors. The cooler is quite large and it's comprised of a plastic top with a fan that pulls in cool air and forces it across the heatsink then ports all the warm air outside the case. It also has lots of heat pipes and there are lots of fins and the base plate comes in direct contact with the GPU. This video card has one HDMI connection which fully supports 7.1 channel audio, VGA connection, as well as a DVI connection. Also note the Crossfire Bridge connections at the top. There are two power supply connections, a 6 pin and an 8 pin. The maximum power consumption of this video card is 190 watts at maximum load and 60 watts at idle. So a quality power supply that can handle the load is very crucial, especially in a multiple video card crossfire configuration. The core speed on this product is 850 megahertz and the one gigabyte of GDDR5 256 bit memory is 3.9 gigahertz DDR. It comes with 800 stream processing units for vertex, pixel and geometry data, 40 texture units and 16 raster operations. The fill rate is 13.6 gigapixels per second, the texture fill rate is 34 gigatexels per second, and the memory bandwidth is 124.8 gigabytes per second. This video card has too many technologies to mention in detail in this video, but let me cover the main ones. Custom filter anti-aliasing. Unified super scalar shader architecture. Tessellation. High definition multimedia interface output support and DirectX 10, which is exclusive to Windows Vista operating system. DirectX 10 is the key technology that stands out because it offers much better graphics than DirectX 9. In this video, you can clearly see the difference between DirectX 9 and DirectX 10. DirectX 10 offers dynamic lighting, added detail, realistic shadows, richer scenes, complex environments, and so on. This is possible because it manages data transfers between the CPU and video card much better. This results in optimal use of the CPU and video card for special tasks like graphic effects, AI, and physics, resulting in the best performance possible and offers an unreal gaming experience. Additionally, another new exciting technology that's impressive is Avivo HD Video and Display Platform, which essentially enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. As to be expected, this video card performs exceptionally well. It has a very nice cooler, and as a bonus, it comes with an HDMI connection on the back. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.